जय हिंद टू ऑल दिस इज चेलसी सैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट ए के जी सी गाजियाबाद टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी इन द सब्जेक्ट ब्लॉक चेन आर्किटेक्चर डिजाइन लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटेंट्स दीज आर द कंटेंट्स वॉट इज ब्लॉक चेन वाई ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी इज सो पॉपुलर फीचर्स ऑफ द ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ब्लॉक चेन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जिस डिस्कस वॉट इज द ब्लॉक चेन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेफिनेशन The blockchain is a decentralized computation in which it is a information sharing platform in which there are the multiple authorities domain are work each other in the corporate way. So they are having a rational decision making process. So blockchain provides us the information sharing platform. Now just discuss about what the blockchain technology. It is a basic a series of a blocks in which the blocks is connected to the previous block. by using some link so it is a continuously growing list of records means wherever we have a, a set of records set of databases then we are using a blockchain so it is mainly used for the blockchain in which we are having some kind of blocks and which are interconnected linked and using the concept of the cryptography these are going to be secured in this each node is called as a block that's why it is called as a blockchain so blockchain technology is a growing laser in which we are having a laser in which we are having a constant increasing amount of data in which we are keeping a permanent records of that particular data in the secured and the immutable way the terms immutable security cryptography these all terms we will discuss in the further slides let's discuss why the blockchain is so popular in the particular way so let's take an example in the traditional way of a sharing documents i told you that the blockchain is used for the sharing information sharing platform so how the traditional way of sharing documents was working we are having a two multiple peoples like alice and the bob if they want to share some information from one place to the another so what was the traditional way first alice have to some edit something particular if she want to edit something if she want to enter some particular detail in the document so first the alice will update that all the document or write all the contents in that particular documents then the it will she, he she will transfer the document to the bob then again if if the bob want to change or update the documents or update some content in the particular document so he just change and again update to the alice so this is the traditional operation was done in the block traditional way but so it is a lengthy process how the uh, communication is going on so it is a traditional oper operations to overcome this operation the blockchain technology comes to overcome this particular solution so this is the uh, the google have provided the microsoft word google docs that in which we are sharing the information simultaneously means if alice want to update some documents if she want to update any content then he or she both can simultaneously work on this particular document so this was given by the google docs each and every one use in the day to day life both the users can edit simultaneously but there are the many uh, disadvantage to use this particular thing also because it provides us as the centralized environment in the centralized environment we are having a ma uh, major problems so just discuss what are the centralized environment and what are the major problems in the centralized environment is these are the ma uh, major problem of the centralized system centralized system i uh, hope you have heard about this particular term the centralized system is uh, like our banking system is working on the centralized system means we are having a server on which multiple uh, users are connected to share that particular information so this google doc google docs is also a particular example of the centralized environment only in which we are having a centralized document and both the person are using that particular centralized system or the document so what are the major problem in the particular centralized system is it works on the single point of a failure means sometimes it got failure what are the failure conditions first one is if we do not have the sufficient bandwidth to load the google docs then we will not be able to edit the documents means if we are have if we do not have the sufficient bandwidth we can't able to earn uh, update or anything on the google docs this is the main problem comes in the centralized system and the next is, uh, next cause or main, uh, problem is if the server crashes server crashes is any problem in comes in the centralized particular thing then what the problem can become uh, when the server get lost so 
the major problem or major draw drawback of the centralized system is if if the uh, information can get lost from that particular system that's why we can uh, we can move to the decentralized platform and this is the distributed platform is provided by the blockchain only this is the centralized system in which many users are connected to the particular center server and this is particular decentralized system in which multiple users are connected to the different servers whenever we want to require any information we can use the decentralized system like our, in our banking system we are, if we have to transfer any money from one place to the another the centralized system first we have to go to the bank then the bank will transfer to the uh, next person means if we want to if we want to transfer the money from uh, money to the another country then the various centers of the banking are there and that is the lengthy process to avoid all this transaction process the central uh, decentralized process came that is the blockchain technology so the ideal solution to uh, overcome the problem from the decentralized system is blockchain so what is blockchain it provides a platform in which we are having a kind of a environment in which we are having a decentralized environment or the distri distributed platform in which the information can be shared in the true manner like if if anyone if alice want to change some document she is having a local copy of particular document if bob want to update some information so he is having a particular local copy of particular in a document so the consistency of the so in the blockchain everyone can edit the particular local copy of that particular document so it can maintain the consistency of the particular solution means if she want to edit something th something on the document the local copy on this particular local copy he will also get the update for the particular local copy updations whatever updation sh she will do he will also get the particular updation in, in his copy so this is the decentralized manners or the distributed manner in which we are having the multiple users in the particular environments means i am here talking about the particular two users but in the blockchain technology we are having a large amount of users can be use that particular data for the transaction pur purpose we can use the particular information so everyone can have their local copy and they can update the particular information but in the updations you require we, we require the particular consistency and to maintain the integrity and no one can easily change the particular data after verification only the particular person can edit the things so this is the ideal solution which was provided uh, for the decentralized uh, system so coming to the blockchain what are the different terminology used in the blockchain these are the different terminologies are used in the blockchain technology means we are having a replicated it provides the distributed environment it maintains the consistent cons uh, consistency by using the consensus algorithm it is cryptographically linked what are these uh, terms we will discuss one by one uh, what these terms are first of all blockchain is a linked list we already have discussed the linked list in the data structure like in the data structure we are having a list uh, linked list and which have the nodes here we are having a list in which we are having a blocks so it is similar to the data structure only in the linked list we are having a set of uh, set of nodes which are connected to the each other by some link so in the data structure these nodes are uh, connected by the pointers and these are represented to the memory address but in the case of the blockchain these each node is called as a block and it, they are connected via a chain that's why the term comes blockchain okay we are having a, some nodes that is called as the block and these are connected through a particular chain so it is a series of a blocks in which they are connected to the previous block by using some special kind of link and these links are provided by using the hash functions these uh, hashing particular terminology we will discuss further in the further videos this is the particular terms which provides the security so how the blockchain is replicated these are the different features and more features we will discuss further blockchain is replicated means if someone how if someone how if it's having copy and it got corrupted then it guarantee of the integrity of the data what do you mean by the integrity integrity means all the data 
once uh, once the data is agreed means no one can come and change the particular data means the consistency and the integrity of the data should be maintained these are the particular terms which will be used in the particular blockchain technology that it is replicated it is consistent it is distributed this is integrity so these are the different terms in which replicated means it guarantee of the integrity it maintains the integrity of the data next term is blockchain is a consistent consistent and it is maintained by the algorithm consensus consensus means everybody should be agreed means if we are having a group of network so everyone should be agree on that particular situation or if any updations need to be done then everyone in the network should be uh, agree on that particular technology so this this is how the updations can be done the blockchain is distributed in which the distributed means uh, we can uh, divide to maintain the integrity and consistency we are having a peer to peer network means we are having a different networks in which we can easily maintain the consistency and integrity of the data means integrity means we uh, no one can come and change the data either they cannot uh, claim that i have not done this and i have not updated this no one can claim this is the tamper proof thing means in which whatever the uh, data is inserted that should be agreed by some particular uh, process through the consensus process only the data can be updation updated the term is the blockchain is cryptographically linked cryptographically linked means it is uh, we are having a series of blocks and they are linked through a particular li a linking and this linking is done by the cryptography process only so these are the different nodes which uh, use the connectivity using the process of hashing in which the cryptography technique is used by using the hashing technique the hash linking helps in maintaining the integrity of the data means you cannot up come and update the particular thing if you are having the hash hash value then only you can update the particular data then the terms comes blockchain is a distributed distributed means we are having a different nodes these are having a, each one have the different local copy if any updations is done on the node a then it should be done it it will be updated on the node d also means every updations will be replicated to the each node so this is the terms uh, the distributed means these are the different features of the blockchain why the blockchain is used as used as as the immutable ledger what do you mean by the term immutable that we will discuss in the further slides that it is a immutable ledger and it is a tamper resistant log so the immutable ledger means which cannot be changed by any malicious party or by mistake means we cannot change our data or transaction history by mistake only or anyone cannot uh, update or uh, cannot change the particular data so these are the different features like immutability security decentralized consensus and ambitious immutability and faster settlements these are the different features of the blockchain just discuss one by one all these features then we will move forward what are the different applications of the blockchain so the term come immutable the immutable means whatever the data is there that should be permanent and the it should be in the unalterable network what do we, uh, the unalterable means you cannot modify the things you cannot when the transaction is recorded so it cannot be modified or deleted if you want to modify if you want to uh, delete the something you should need the consensus agreement agree agreement so that's why the immutability concepts come in the feature of a blockchain means it is it provides you the high degree of security and the trust that's why the immutability concept is coming into the blockchain to maintain the security and the trust of the particular in environment these are the different features that is the distributor that we have already discussed that the distributed we are having a different multiple nodes in the particular environment and and we are having a different different copy of a laser 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 is the particular uh, term in which we are having a local copy of a particular data or the transaction history it will having a laser history you are having a particular hash value of the previous data this particular terms will be uh, discussed in the elements of the blockchain so what do you mean by the decentralized decentralized means we are not having a central authority to control the particular network so no central authority is there to control particular network so that's why it is a decentralized network and you can easily verify and validate the transaction 
by using the different nodes means if you are having a multiple nodes then no one can change your data in the particular process if any updation is done on the particular one node then each node will re replicate it to the this particular data now the next reason is security it provides the security how it provides the security that all the records are stored in the blockchain are encrypted means if you want to add some uh, security reasons then it all the process having a, a reason of encryption it provides the cryptography process in which you are having you can use the hashing process means the particular person every information on the blockchain is hashed cryptographically which means that every piece of data has a unique identity on this particular network no one can change the particular data if you are having a unique identity in that particular network then only you can change the particular data so it provides all the blocks contain a unique hash value of their own and the hash value of the previous block so that the in, the connectivity of the particular block should be maintained if any changes in the particular hash is showed then it can be it can be discarded so any attempt to the modify the data means change to the whole hash id and which is quite impossible next feature is consensus consensus provide us the uh, help to in the network to provide the unbiased decision means no one can easily change the data so consensus is a decision making pro algorithm which provides the agreement in the particular networks means we are having a multiple nodes then all the particular person should agree on that particular updations or more than the majority works means more than 51% of the data or the data of the block should be maintained the integrity should be maintained so validations or verification is done on the basis of the consensus algorithm so agreement uh, so it is a decision making algorithm which in which the network should having a agreement process or that is the that provide the smoothing uh, smooth functioning of the system next term come is an ambush that means you are having a particular id means if someone want to all the network participate agree to validate the particular data so a net cannot any node cannot simply add update or delete the information from the network it should be done by using some voting process or some mining mining process so it should be done by using some mining process or the voting process it you cannot easily update any or delete the particular information in the particular networks it last feature is the faster settlement like in the traditional banking system we are having a long and the lengthy process so the uh, the settlement of the transactions are very slow so blockchain provide us um, provide you to the faster settlement of the particular uh, transactions next is the transparency transparency means each and every laser are transparent means it is a public blockchain laser means it is open to all anyone can access in the particular network if you are have if you are participating in that particular network then your data is visible to the all the particular participants so it is very transparent if any updation is done in the particular particular node then the updations will sh uh, show to the other nodes also so this is the term as the transparency means which is makes the highly transparent and resistant which is uh, which is resistant to the fraud and the corruption if the corruption and fraud are avoidable from this particular feature, uh, feature. so these are the various features of the blockchain that's why the blockchain is very trending and very popular these days these are the various application of the blockchain uh, blockchain is nowadays used in the banking healthcare real estate and the iot supply chain management government cyber security social media and ai for the verification for the identity and where the uh, where you you are having a databases so every department in every department you are having a applications of the blockchains so nowadays the blockchain is very useful so that's for uh, that's all for today and we will discuss more uh, components of the blockchain in the next video and further application we will discuss in the next video jai hind thank you